Hello. Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build a town hall in Bead Rising. So for this build, I have three different floors and this is just a quick uh, preview. And the whole building is pretty much symmetrical from each side. So if I were to go left or right, it's pretty much the same build. And on the first floor here, we have the two uh, office areas. So yeah, there's plenty of uh, really neat structural things going on here. And of course, this is what it looks like from the outside. All right, so I wanna show you guys how I built this. And we're gonna start off by laying the foundation, the first floor foundation. Now, we're not gonna use the foundation we're actually going to use. I'm just using a different foundation for now just to visually make it different. It allows me to make sure I don't build in the wrong spot. Uh, but for this build, I used a six by six blueprint. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we start on this one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, and then six. So now we're going to go in, fill in the outside, make sure that we have it all a solid color so that we know this is our blueprint. We don't go past it. We don't go, you know, around it or whatever. Uh, so we make sure that we're not uh, placing things in the wrong spot. But yeah, this is our blueprint here. I'm going to start off by placing some stairs. I went with the wood clad stone stairs. And remember, this first row is going to be a front area. So actually for this foundation, I'm gonna use grass for just this front row, just to remind myself, hey, this is the outside of the building. Then I'm going to place the stairs. So I'm gonna go with the right side staircase here. And the staircase is going to be facing the inside and this is the right side L shape. Keep in mind also that you need one square space away from this wall in order for you to get this exact build. So one square space forward here and then we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to rotate the staircase and boom. So now we have our basically our beginner staircase is all set up so that is great. Then we're going to place two wide castle entrances. So we're going to put one right here because remember it's six by six. So we have an even number of square tiles. And then we're going to do the same thing on the back side of the building. All right. So for the next part, we're going to go to castle wall and then I'm going to place walls all throughout. Now I could place some windowed walls and things like that, but oh, that's a mistake. I could place some windowed walls and things like that, but that's not, you know, the the intent of this video. I'm just kind of showing like a step by step blueprint. Uh, but if you want to add windows, feel free to do so. I'm sure it'll look great. OK. And then I'm going to place this here. And over here, and now we've completely enclosed the building except for the staircases. Notice that the light is still shining through the staircases that if you see that great, that's what it should look like. Now we're going to pick out uh, another foundation again and we're going to place. Well, actually, in this case, I use the um, the library flooring. Since we're already on the second floor, uh, we can start using the actual flooring we want to use. And we have a little bit of a walkway here. Now with this particular setup, I also added some other stairs to get to the third floor and these are straight staircases. So I also use the wooden ones. So one here and one here. So now you have kind of a nice little wraparound uh, staircase situation. Now on the second floor here, I ended up using invisible foundation. So we're going to place our invisible foundation tiles here first to make sure that we're able to uh, place other stuff later. Now, mind you, we also need an, a row of invisible foundation through the front. So we're going to do that. So 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then of course I need to fix this side here so that it all is invisible foundation. Great. So now we got our second floor completed uh, for the most part, but we're going to go back down and actually do the front so that we don't forget uh, to do the pillars because the castle pillars are a little bit harder to do. Um, so we're going to go with a pillar here, a pillar here, a pillar here, and a pillar here. And of course, if we wanted to, we could add another pillar here or there, but for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I only put four pillars. And I'm also going to start placing my ground floor pillars because that's kind of important. You don't want your floor looking all weird because you don't have any kind of support structures. Can't have that now, can we? And I place my different pillars here so you want one at the bottom back of the first staircase one in the corner one on the edge so kind of like a triangle and then you then you uh move over to the center here you place another one and then you place this one here all right so now we're going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side so one here one here one here one here and one here now we're not going to put any on the inside here you'll see why uh, because we're going to make our little offices on the left and right sides so next we're going to put down some walls now i like to start with the staircase or the area around the staircase and we're going to place one here place one here place one here then here we're going to leave this center area open because we're going to put a door here and there we go so now we have our door area set up and we're going to do the exact same thing but on this side so we can start with the door then we're going to go with the staircase we're going to do around the staircases place that wall there place this wall here and this office area is pretty much done structurally next we're going to place some doors so we're going to well actually uh since we gotten so much done on the first floor i'm actually going to place the wallpapers since we've now completed the first floor so we're going to do the wallpapers there and inside each of these little uh rooms cool so now we have the basics of our foundation we're already like halfway through the build and it's great <laughs> all right so the next step we're going to go to the second floor and we're going to go back and start uh working with the castle pillars again so the castle pillar setup uh of course we have this and this uh we got this and this we close that out and we close this out. Now, as far as the pillars go, we want to also add pillars here and on this side as well. And we're going to actually continue by placing two more on these sides here in the front on both staircases. And this is where stuff starts to get a little bit tricky because now Remember, we still have these pillars in the front, so I'm going to place the pillars in the side. One, two, three, and four. Now remember, without that invisible foundation we placed earlier, that would not have been possible. So make sure you do that before you uh, attempt to add uh, a higher column. Now, the hard part is, of course, placing wallpapers. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I bringing up wallpapers when we haven't even built walls? Well, uh, because there's going to be a wall here and you won't be able to place wallpaper on these second pillars later. So we're going to hover here. We're going to press shift, press and hold shift to distribute the wallpaper. By the way, the wallpaper I'm using is panels with decorative pattern and it's the wooden one. So there we go. And then we're going to do the two on the other side awesome so now we have those columns all set up they look great and the next part is going to involve uh basically enclosing the second floor so we're going to start off by starting at the far end here just to make sure we have our bases covered and if we turn our camera just like this you can see 
we can place one, two, three, four, five, six. And then on this side, we're going to do one, two, and then we're going to kind of get a better look at what we're doing here. Three, four, five, because remember, we already placed the one. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then another five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. So now we've enclosed our building. Uh, I try to do them all in a row so that I so that when the building closes and we have a roof, we know for sure we that the area is closed off. So we're going to go to the same wallpaper and apply it. And now we have the whole outside edge of it. Now, the next step is to make sure that our columns here also have wallpapers. So, you know, apply whatever wallpaper you want. But I rem I really highly recommend uh, placing the wallpapers on the second floor as soon as you can because when you start working on the third floor and trying to go back up and down and up and down it gets really uh it gets a lot more challenging to uh place wallpapers once you have you know your floors placed and stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna go to the foundations page again we're gonna go to library flooring one more time and i'm gonna use the elocution parquet floor i i believe that's how it's pronounced i could be horribly wrong and we're gonna do this kind of roundabout thing so we're gonna make our square here so one two three four and then we're gonna go and make a hallway five six seven eight nine now after we place this ninth thing we're gonna put down one wall to remind ourselves that this is two separate rooms, right? Remember, this is the beginning or the split. So as long as this is aligned with this, you know that you've uh, done this correctly. And we're going to go back to this side and we're going to do the stuff across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven squares, if we count that way. And as you can see, we have reached the end. And now, because we're on the third floor, we also have an extra room here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is a separate room altogether. So you want to place your walls like this so that these are in a T shape, essentially. All right, so the next part, we're going to also place some foundation for the balcony area. Now, the balcony area can be um, can be extended uh, probably about this long would be a good idea since you have the pillar columns. Uh, remember, we have the four columns in the front. So that's why I put down four columns rather than six, because if I put down six, this just would have been another long row and it wouldn't really look like a balcony because typically balconies are smaller than the size or the width of the uh, building. So yeah, I figured that was worth mentioning. And we're going to go to basic flooring and we're going to pull out the terracotta tiles for this. And I'm going to place terracotta tiles on the edge here. We just have four and now our balcony structure is completed. So the next part here, uh, since we're already up front, we can do this. I'm going to go to wallpapers and, you know, we're going to go back to that uh, wooden wallpaper setup and we're going to start working on wallpapers on the floor or actually uh, the wallpapers on the ground floor. Uh, it's all going to be different. So I actually, um, I made a mistake earlier uh, and I'm going to I'm going to have to fix this now. So we're actually going to use the stately stone pattern for the columns and for the outside of this building. So uh, the wallpaper on the outside is not the same as the wallpaper on the inside. And you will see that uh, very quickly. So let's go back. We're going to place our wallpapers for the whole first floor outside. And then uh, we're going to do the same thing for the second floor. And of course we haven't built the third floor yet, so we can't really uh, do that, but we will just in a second. So we're gonna go to walls and we're gonna start off back here where the T shape is. And we're gonna complete this shape here. 
So we're going to put three walls on this side and then one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do one that's kind of perpendicular to that one. We're going to place it. Then we're going to place one wall that is, you know, behind the, a balcony tile. And then we're going to place another one on this side that is also near the balcony tile. So in this step, you should have uh, a two tile doorway. So we're going to do just that. We're going to grab the wide castle entrance and we're going to place it down. All right. And next we're going to go to castle walls. We're going to continue and we're just going to go all the way around. And once we, uh, once we place this final one here, it should close the, uh, it should close the roof. There we go. So now that it closed the roof, we know that we did this correctly. We're going to go to wallpapers, cordial wallpapers, and then we're going to go back to the decorative wallpaper again. And now that it's completely uh, kind of fleshed out. Um, well, actually, we're not done. We can't place the, the wallpapers just yet. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Uh, so what we can do is we can place some walls here because in the center here we're going to have a separate office area or a separate room or it could also be a lounge depending on what you want to build and we're, we're also going to place the wide castle entrance for this this is just a uh, style choice but you could technically leave this without this thing here and just leave it open uh, it's really up to you on how you want to decorate it so we're going to go back to the wallpapers again. Now I'm going to apply the wallpaper and you should see every single wallpaper facing the outside or facing the staircase uh, covered with the with the new print. And then we're going to do the same thing on the inside here. So that way we only have to click twice to do the application. And then, of course, on the outside here, we're going to do the stately stone and we're going to uh, finish up the outside there. All right, so for the floor foundation or for the flooring here, I used the discernment parquet flooring. It's also wood, but it's kind of richer. Then we're also going to go around here and we're going to make this completely uh you know just take the whole sides here and it's completely changed the uh flooring now i'm going to show you why in a second that should be seven squares on both the left and right side now mind you we should have eight squares in the center that are of the different uh flooring that we used earlier now we're going to go to castle walls and we're going to add some walls here. We're going to put one right here, right here. So one, two, three, four. And then for the last one, we're going to put a entrance for five. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. We'll put the entrance for five, four, three, two, and then one. So yeah, we have our hallways now built. We're going to go to wallpapers and I'm just going to make sure that the inside of this is completely painted. We're going to do the same thing from the outside here. And it looks like we've now completed that part of the build. Of course, for this build, I didn't add any kind of like decorations and stuff, but uh, you know, of course we have to make sure our flooring is correct. So we're going to go to the first floor one more time. And I'm just going to add in the flooring that I prefer. Uh, you could really use any kind of flooring you want. And, uh, of course for the discernment parquet, any kind of room in this building, I decided to put a different kind of wooden floor, but that's just, you know, a stylistic choice. And then, of course, you know, if you have the castle heart, you can tuck it in here or in there and then just put like a door or something to protect it if you want. Um, but yeah, um, well, actually, what's really interesting is that for some reason, the inside here has changed color. That is odd. Hold on a second. There's something wrong. I feel like I'm missing a wall or something somewhere because. Aha. See, this is the culprit. And this is why we have to be careful. I must have deleted this wall or something at some point because I'm, I'm pretty sure I placed it. But 
uh yeah this is why you have to kind of check if you're not sure like let's say you're missing a wall somewhere because you placed the wallpaper and it changed the whole wall and you're like wait what why did it do that uh usually the culprit is around staircases because the staircases is really easy to kind of miss that you didn't place anything because if you look at the staircases they already have like a nice like design or texture to the sides so it's easy to kind of overlook that and not realize that you skipped it so that's why i'm kind of going back here and showing that because you know even i make mistakes from time to time when it comes to a lot of these uh builds and you know it can get it can get frustrating and overwhelming sometimes you know if you're especially if you're like really new to building castles and stuff in this game so yeah um i'd like to see what you guys have to say about this build um i'm actually going to provide a copy of the game file for this build on my ko-fi so you guys can go to my co uh well i don't know if it's ko-fi or coffee whatever it is i don't like coffee so i'm gonna go with ko-fi okay <laughs> you can go on my ko-fi and you can download this game file for free and then you can decorate it however you want you can also practice now remember because this is a six by six blueprint you can pretty much build this on any plot so whether your plot is really big like you know big and wide like this one or if it's like really uh not so wide and kind of small like maybe like this one here you know you either way either way it should fit on the plot so uh if you notice this is the plot that i decided to build this on and of course you know the first example the first copy of the example was here and the second one is here so yeah there's two buildings here i recommend uh you know maybe trying that out and if you find this to be really helpful uh let me know i'm thinking about maybe doing a series on this kind of building uh just doing step by step how i built something how i put it together um you know this build didn't take very long to make but then again we didn't decorate it and you know the purpose of this particular build was not to decorate but rather uh construct so that you guys have like an idea of like the planning and how uh things are kind of brought to fruition so yeah let me know if you found it helpful for those of you who don't know my name is shallow q i'm a shallow eats quaintly reaper and guide to the underworld i stream three times a week on twitch cake and youtube and you can find my schedule posted on sundays so if you're ever unsure of when to stop by feel free to check that out and you know, don't be afraid to say hello. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Shello out.